is tutorial number 18, and it covers the constant radius fillet feature within Autodesk Inventor. Now to start off, let's open up a part file. Let's click File, and let's open up the fillet part, which I've included on the DVD. Now what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to do a fillet on the edges of these parts, and when you fillet an edge, what happens is the edge then has a curved surface of the radius that you choose. Now to start off, let's select the fillet feature and right now the radius is set at 2 mils so the edge that we choose is going to have a 2 millimeter fillet on it so to start off let's click this edge click OK and now we've done a 2 millimeter fillet on that edge now let's click fillet again and let's click this edge here this time let's change the radius to 5 mils click OK and now we've done a 5 millimeter fillet onto that side. Now we can do more than one edge at a time. So let's click fillet, click these two edges here, click OK, and we filleted those two edges at 5 millimeters each. Now let's flip the part over and let's fillet a curved edge. So let's click fillet, set to 5 mils, click this edge, click this edge, click OK, and we filleted on the curved edges 5 mils. Now we can also fillet between two surfaces so we can fillet between this face and this face and it's going to go all the way around and it's going to give us the best fillet for the part. So to do that let's click fillet, click the face fillet, click one face, click the other face, and you can see the preview all the way around of the green and that's going to be our fillet. Click OK and now we filleted that surface there. Now we're also able to fillet a whole face on the side. So let's say we want this whole face here to be filleted so we want all of that gone there. To do this we have to click fillet, click the full round fillet, we have to click the top surface, this surface, and then the bottom surface. And you can see the preview in green. We like it. Let's click OK and accept it. And we've done a full rounded fillet there. And this concludes our tutorial on how to use the constant radius fillet feature within Autodesk Inventor.